Uh, tweet. Uh, <laughs> there was a typo. There was a typo. Oh. Are you going to do it again? No. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the park bench, but we have no bench today, so we're sitting on the grass. Yes. I should really just change the title text so I can just edit it to say wherever we happen to be sitting on this time. Anyway. But <laughs> we, we, we twote. We, we, we twote. We, we arranged a time and a place to meet. Yes. But we forgot to think of anything to talk about, and we tried scraping the barrel for ten minutes and we couldn't find anything at the bottom of the barrel. But if, if we do completely run out of things, expect ten minutes of barrel scraping to be our next video. <laughs> we've got some questions, hopefully we've got some answers. <laughs> oh yes, thank you Twitter. Uh, Parker asks, what's your opinion on Canada? Would you film stuff here if given the opportunity? I like Canada. I've never been, I really want to go. I have only done the East Coast, I've only done Toronto and Ottawa, uh, but I went there and it was very nice. It's lovely. The people are very nice. I've had two friends who've lived in, separately lived in Vancouver. Yes. Uh, one of whom stayed there a couple of years, one of them stayed there maybe close to ten? Yep. It, and my parents have been and said it was lovely. I, yep. I really want to go to Canada. Yeah. I should find some stuff to film in Canada. Hmm. <laughs> As ever, if you, if you know of yeah. something, uh, put it in the comments. If you're actually connected and could get me into somewhere in Canada, email. Yes. Right. Yeah, um, Canada. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, Tim, uh, who, I, who I sort of know, uh, sort of know, sorry, Tim, that was, that was unnecessarily harsh. Tim, <laughs> who I know, um, asks, domes. Who doesn't love a G-O-D-S <laughs> dome? <laughs> oh, I'll see, I'll see we, there's a secret we can't, we can't give away about a, about a geodesic dome we got into. Well, we got into a good geodesic dome. You'll see it in a month sort, or sort of, so. Sort of geodesic. Like, I think it's... Yeah. Geodesesque. Yes. <laughs> and also the, uh, the Tech Diff crew, we're going to go and, go and do uh. the Crystal Maze soon. Uh, not for the TV version, obviously. The, the, Just the, for the Lulz version. Yes. <laughs> uh, so domes, good. Um, Daddy or chips? Why does someone always ask that? Because that ad campaign was years, years ago. ago. And chips, obviously. <laughs> what size hat do the two of you wear? Asks uh, Arcus. Uh, between us, that's a big hat. <laughs> like, I feel like finding a hat that would fit on both of our heads simultaneously is, is going to be is going to be difficult. You could probably purchase sombrero. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the phrase. It's the phrase purchase sombrero, which sounds yeah, more euphemistic. Purchase sombrero. <laughs> When does the new citation needed we come out? We didn't answer that question. No, but I don't know my I don't hat know what, size. I don't know my hat size, but big. I've yep. got a very big head. Uh, Car Time <laughs> asks, when does the new citation needed come out? Uh, as of today, five episodes are done from the first season. I need to edit the last one. Then we need to go through, do audio, audio mix, mixing. grading, fine cut, graphics, uh, subtitling, and then it'll finally be ready for release. So, what is it now? April, early May. Let's say, uh, let's say early May. Seeing as lots of you have asked of it, uh, asked about it, we have for this series rolled four or five cameras. Yep. With about eight different audio sources. Yep. Uh, we cut down half an hour to the length. Yeah, and of those stuff. those cameras were running in. Uh, we're not going to be exporting in 4K, uh, but they were originally running in 4K, 50 frames a second. So the original. Sys the original file coming in was four gigabits a second. So there is 15 terabytes of footage stored on YouTube servers right now. And that makes it slower to edit and... It's, piecing everything together has taken a while, but yeah. it is happening. It is happening, it will come. Yes. Uh, what's the weirdest thing that's happened to you in a bar? Uh, for that, I refer you to the video about the second oh, yes. greatest prank I ever pulled, where I found a voice double for a friend of mine. You can read and talk quicker than I can. Yeah, sorry. Um, why are you not coming to VidCon Europe? Haven't been invited. Didn't really... I've never been invited to a VidCon. Never. Didn't really know it was happening. It's not really, not really my, my scene, to be honest. Would you ever enter Robot Wars? I don't have the skills to enter Robot Wars. I have some of the skills to enter Robot Wars, I assume. <laughs> being able to do little electronics -y thing, but I, don't know. I think... I would get rather defeated, because I don't have the time. It must take months to make we, Well, we met some Robot Wars contestants at Electromagnetic Field oh, last God, year. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah. And, yeah, having seen some of the robots, no, I, I do not have the skills to do I that. I had to look at the rules. Really? And there are a lot of very specific rules about batteries and how you must store them within the vehicle so then yes. they don't explode, 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 explode. Yes. Like lithium that, that, batteries that, that is wants the, to the do. technical term. Though. Explode, 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 explode. Okay, now here's something we can have an argue about, argument about. Paul Ooh. Jefferson asks, what's your favourite London airport? Oh, Heathrow. Gatwick. There we go. 
Why Heathrow? It's easier for me to get to. Whereas Gatwick's easier for me to get to, and security's always lovely. Gatwick has... So, okay, so I have opinions on airport security. <laughs> Gatwick and most European, most big European airports have parallelised security yes. clearance. So rather than waiting in a queue and one person going forward and unpacking their stuff and going through, there are now seven slots at Gatwick. All can have one person taking their stuff out at the same time. So if there is one really slow person, they don't hold the entire lineup. And then you pick up your box, you put it forwards on the tray, on the conveyor belt, and it scoots off past the people you're next to. Yeah. So it's two rows of stuff. Yeah. It's a brilliant system. Gatwick has basically optimised uh, security. It's perfect. Um, so for that reason, I like going there. But it's really far out of London. For you. And it's really far out of London. Okay, yeah, there is that. It's, it's really far out of London. Uh, anyway, sorry, that's a di discussion about airport security there, but this is what happens when we run out of content. Whereas Luton and Stansted, however, are like a bus stop for planes. Oh, God, that's true. Yeah, the discount airport. Do you uh, want to sit down in Stansted? No! <laughs> no, you don't want to, because there are no seats. Um, oh, God, the, uh, right, there are 40, 40 replies here. Have you ever put Nutella on a Yorkshire pudding? No! But, uh, but, my God, the phrase... Yorkshire pudding with chicken tikka and custard is in <laughs> citation needed this season. So you'll can you'll can enjoy that uh, that spoiler. What do you do if you want to buy a domain but are paranoid about private data and skeptical on who is protection? Ah. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you do something on the internet, it'll stay there forever, and it's probably more public than you think it is. Yes. Uh, what's your favourite gag from Citation Needed? I can actually answer that because I edited this season's today. And I don't want to spoil it, because I'll tell you, but there's going to be a point. I think it's, it's one of the episodes uh, where you weren't, th you weren't there this time, where we had Will Seawood, where Gary's introduction is a flat-out shouted delivery to camera, and it floored me for 60 seconds. I'd forgotten about it, I didn't see it coming. Just 60 seconds in the edit suite at YouTube, just uncontrollably laughing. No one else is going to find it funny. It just absolutely got me out of nowhere. My favourite is one I came up with on the spot when you named a place in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, what the hell was the... Uh, Beaver Falls. Beaver Falls, yes. Also known as Slut Drop. <laughs> I did not speed up Matt's reaction to that joke. That was that fast. It was incredible. I had to cut out like a minute of uncontrollable corpsing laughter from our reactions for that. I realise it's not the, the best taste joke. Or the classiest joke. <laughs> In the slightest. Mm -hmm. But I had said it before I had realised it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mitchie. How do you spell can? Yes, I made a typo. Let's move oh. on. Is there a good reason why you're not going to Wyoming to see the eclipse next August? Yes, because Wyoming, Wyoming is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, the thing is, I know there are probably things to film in Wyoming. They're just surrounded by 10 hours of driving through flat fields. Also, possibly some Rocky Mountains on the west. Sorry, Wyoming, I'm, I'm, I'm kind it, of selling you short there. And it's a place name that sounds like a verb. <laughs> How does one Wyoming? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to read their state's name anymore. You've ruined Wyoming for me. <laughs> Hi, we're Wyoming. Are you? Are you having fun doing that? <laughs> Uh, did you ever have to interrupt a park bench episode because of unforeseen circumstances? There uh, was the yeah. live one. Oh yeah, where we got kicked off the bench. <laughs> By a woman who claimed the bench was hers and we didn't really want to argue and it was a nice way to end it. Yeah, there was that. That uh, was good. We had a lot of kids oh, playing yes. about behind us once where we thought it wasn't good taste to... Um, yeah, yeah, like it's the kind of thing where you ask parents for permission when there are kids behind... Where there's a kid doing more than just walking past. Like, it's not. Can I point out, my eyeline is over there today because there is a ping pong table in this park and there are people playing it and apparently my eye keeps getting drawn towards it. Right, so. fair enough. I'm all over the place. So, uh, <laughs> uh, favorite, not very good. <laughs> favourite how did I get away with that drunk story? That one's all for you. Oh, uh, there was, there was, I'm not going to name names, there was the friend of ours that caught a goose. Uh, did you not see this? I'll tell you it was afterwards. Um, it was just a, a day on a uh, thing on Facebook. Yeah, um, it was a, a thing on Facebook. We just said, "This, this it caught a goose," and there is a photo of him, blind drunk, in his room. With no, no, not 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 in his room. It's at it just caught it then. Let it go. Uh, just him with with what was frankly a, a very disgruntled looking goose. But 
I don't know how you managed it. But that means it was near their face. Yeah, yeah, and not pecking or biting. It was just, it was just sitting there going... <laughs> wow. Um, you are much quicker at reading Yeah, sorry. Now. How do you plan... So I'm going to keep going, because otherwise there's dead air. How do you plan travel itineraries? Do you get a list of places to visit up front? Yes. You can't go somewhere with no planning, because while things like Foursquare and... Because <laughs> you end up with the ten minutes of crap we recorded before this. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Uh, but while Foursquare, TripAdvisor, that kind of stuff exists, um, you'll go see a thing that you've found out at that moment, and then you'll go to the other side of the town to see another thing, and then the next thing will be miles away, whereas if yeah. you look at it in advance, you can plan your route and get more things in in the time. Yes. While those are good for off days or little things or yep. when you have free time, I, I, I hate to plan every moment. Yes. It's good to leave loads of time for slack, for food, for... Yeah. I, about finding the new thing that you just found. I have an unsponsored uh, suggestion for people. If you travel often, uh, an app called TripIt is wonderful. You forward the emails you get from reservation sites and it puts it all into a nice little calendar on an app for you so you can... It sends you an email every so often asking to, to give them money, but it works really? fine. Really? doesn't for me. No, really? Yeah. I've unsubscribed from that. Oh. Oh, I'll find that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> re regards, says James, from the Wirral. I'm not answer I, I just don't like the Wirral, all right? There's a, there, there, was so, there was an incident in the Wirral, and I don't like the Wirral now. It's, it's dark in the whole place. It's dark in the whole place. As far as you know, there might not be anything wrong with the place. There is. But, but it there, there, has connotations. It's, it's the Wirral. It, it brings back memories it's, of a, it's, it's a the terrible Wirral. time. Yeah. I hate the Wirral. Um, oh, connected to it, what's the place you've least liked visiting and why? The Wirral. <laughs> and let me guess, you're not going to go into why? Huh? Yeah. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, what's your favourite programming language and why is it C Sharp? Thank you, Andrew. Uh, JavaScript. Yeah, it's a Or PHP, because... They're, they're both terrible. terrible. They're awful languages. But we know them and, and can make yeah. them do things quickly. Yeah, because speed is, is the most important thing, is just getting the thing ready and done. And I do not want to have to instantiate a Heroku server. I don't want to have to... Uh, be load, load a load of frameworks. container? Yeah, a load of frameworks or anything like that. I want to type some code and upload it somewhere and have it work. It's There's not like either of us have had any kind of formal education in this kind of thing. It's Yeah, I probably Googling. should get some at some, at some point. It's not going to happen. If it's not happening now, it's not going to happen. Well, thank you, Martin Ellis. What else should I buy some goddamn of? Purchasing decisions. What, what, what would... Im what could... I'm going to change that question to what can you buy for less than 20 quid that will massively improve someone's life? Ooh. Um, I would say replace your socks <laughs> or your underwear or something like that. Like, you, like the, I, a friend of mine has uh, what they call New Sock Day, right. where they have given up trying to. Like, it's every couple of years where it's like, oh, that one's got a hole in it, that one's got a hole in it. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out my socks, and now I'm just going to buy a lot of pairs of socks for about 20 quid, and now I have socks, and I don't have to worry about my socks. Yeah, yeah. that works. Yeah, I stick them in lots of supermarkets, I have clothes bits now, I stick them in with a food shop right. sometimes. And Sorry, that was a dull answer, yeah. wasn't it? That was a spectacularly dull answer. Hi. <laughs> Rock and roll YouTubers we Yeah. Are. <laughs> Sitting cross-legged in a park talking about how good new socks are. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's what you come here for, Hashtag isn't it? Hashtag relatable content. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, best and... Oh, oh, there's a whole video in that. Wait. Best, best and worst board games. And tabletop oh, yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. We said we were going to do that in a previous video. Well, let's, well. let's actually take that. The next video is going to be board game recommendations, so okay. I've got a couple. Cool. Uh, was the things about what's the thing you should goddamn buy? Yes. I, I've got uh, the inverse of that, what you shouldn't. Smart home technology. Oh, God. it's all pants, don't bother you. I wondered. I, I, there needs to be a GIF somewhere. I, I've, I've, I called it. The minute you bought that nest. No, no, the nest's all right. Well, it's just a thermostat. I only use it as a thermostat. Oh, right. So you should have bought a thermostat. No, no, because I work shifts. Right. I can tell it in advance the day of the week really quickly on it rather than pressing mm, okay. clunky buttons. Yeah, all right. That's, I, that's fine. When I go to bed at four o'clock in the afternoon and have forgotten to do it, I don't want to so, get out of bed. Yeah, okay. So what other smart home stuff are you buying? Uh, well, I've, I have used, I don't have, um, things you can talk to. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Amazon Echo. While in some use cases it might be handy, it can't understand a word I say most right. of the time. Right. Everyone I know that's got one says stories of them or their members of their family going, just play the king thing. Yeah. 
Um, I asked it to play um, Kerrang Radio. Yeah. It tried to find me an audio book of the Holy Quran. Oh, that's good. That's good. It, it couldn't find either. I didn't have it in the audio uh, Audible right. library. So uh, there you go. Not not smart home technology. I don't like talking to computers. Uh, Connor asks, any sporting preferences? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. We both we both vaguely watch, watch, watch American football. We watch, I watch the Super Bowl and I probably watch maybe two other American yep. football games in a year. I have been known to watch the Wimbledon finals, men's yep. women's doubles. Well, we went there. Oh yeah, we did. We actually years, we uh, saw Andy Murray win Wimbledon. Yeah. Which was a pity because I was rooting for Djokovic, but have a smug photo. <laughs> It's a good, good smart photo. <laughs> um, say you had the chance to go back and film somewhere again, where would it be? There I don't are... know about film, but I'd like to spend a lot more time in Svalbard. Yes. Because that was a quick trip. Yeah. There's a couple of old videos I'd like to remaster at some point, if that makes sense. Go yeah. back and just do the same thing again. But it's not really worth the effort. No. So I don't know... It's not like we're going to drop drums and cymbals off a cliff again. Oh, we totally should. Wouldn't work this time. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> if it's only one of you filming yourself using a tripod, how do you get the camera to focus on your face? Uh, put if you're focusing manually, put a thing where your face will be exactly where your face will be, um, and then focus on that manually. Uh, even one thing we've used at work is a chair with a broomstick on it with a photo of someone's face on the broomstick right. and you, photo, you focus on the photo. There you go. Advice. Um, or use a camera that's got autofocus and face detection. Yes. Yeah. That works. <laughs> and you have tested beforehand. Uh, what is... What, oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm skipping past. There's still 43 questions to go here. So apologies if we didn't get to your question. It turns no. out there's a, there's a lot of questions. Uh, Paul, Paul Curry, CR3? Paul Curry. Paul, 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 Paul Curry. <laughs> Paul, asks, Paul uh, Curry. What's your mother's maiden names and first pets? And also our CV code from the back of our credit cards. That's, that's oh, okay. a question. Uh, so, mother's maiden name is Jones. Yep. Uh, yep. First pet, non existent. And I think it's 427. Two truths and one lie there. Um, <laughs> All lies. Uh, what sort of music are you listening to right now? Nothing. Nothing. We're recording. recording. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you have a, have a, right, this is all you. This is all you, Matt. I should do a, a I mean, Matt and Thesis about music video. Yes, but... that's true. I mean, L Neil Cesariga's mouth moods, obviously. Oh, yes. Um, it's been <laughs> about an hour since I last listened to, to one of those tracks. That's... Um, uh, the last thing I listened to uh, was Between Order and Model by Funeral for a Friend. That's an album EP from yep. many years ago. I've listened to way too much Bring Me the Horizon. Uh, I saw Lower, the, uh, Lower Than Atlantis the other week. I've listened to Daughter's two albums for the last three years non-stop. Um, they asked... <laughs> <laughs> Blink-182! I've, I've listened to their self-titled album and Neighbourhoods a oh, lot right. recently as well. I forget they're still going. Yeah, they are. Um, but they, they got rid of the singer and uh, the singer from Alkaline Trio is oh, right. now their That's singer. a band I've heard of. <laughs> Music news. Uh, right. Shall I look at some questions as well? We've got right? another one I'm asking about tabletop games. Uh, how was the vacation, Tom? It wasn't much of a vacation, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I've taken like four days off. Um, I must so what have... happened was, at yeah. the beginning uh, of his time off the internet, uh, we went on filming trips, yep. and then for the rest of it, I've been there's, there's been lots of things to edit, and all of, what, 12-ish yeah. episodes of Citation Needed. And, and, a, and a couple of other videos I've gone to film and things like that. So uh, I got about four days off, which was lovely, and I've now got a bit of a backlog of videos, to, so I'm not panicking all the time. So it's going to be a calm a few weeks for you after I the really, I really hope so. I got very close to burning out. I didn't. I, I realised, I, I said before jokingly, yeah, I burned out. I got... I got very close to it, and I think yeah. I managed to, to, to pull out the dive in time. You seem perkier now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Annoyingly, yes, I did see two of the Star Wars prequels, so I, I get that reference. It was... Couldn't, get a, uh, couldn't give a 
talked about Star Wars. Yeah. He said tragedy. I thought. When the feeling's gone, you can't go on. It's a tragedy. Uh, uh, I well, so their name is kiwi fruit and knife emojis, and they ask, do you like uh, do you like their cat? It's a cat. I did until I turned the photo upside down, and now it, it just wants looks... you to paint it like one of your French cats. Oh no! Once I turned it upside down, it just looks really angry at me. It just looks like a cat. It's a cat. I'm not necessarily the one for animal questions. Uh, Alan... Favourite student-friendly food? Instant mash with cheese and beans in it. <laughs> Weirdly, jacket potato, fine. It's the idea of instant mash combined with that. It's just, it's just goo. It's just glue. You've made it wrong then. I mean, one thing I learned when I, when I was a student is you cannot make mashed potatoes in a food processor. Oh, God, no, it uh, yeah. strings out the thingies. Yeah, it tears the starch apart, so you just end up with wallpaper paste. Strings out the thingies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pineapple on pizza, asks Alan. Uh, yes or no? Yeah. No. Makes it healthy. <laughs> I saw BuzzFeed did a thing where they were eating banana on a pizza or something. Yeah, that feels wrong. I want to try it. Uh, weird pineapple on burgers, yes. See, you like Hawaiian round things as long as they're only small, meaty round things. <laughs> Why did I choose to phrase it like that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's... Is there something stupid that we regret not doing? I rarely regret not doing things because mm. there's no point. I, I, so I used to think that, you know, you only regret the things you don't do, and that's not true. If you think that, you, you, <laughs> you have never done something that you deeply regret. Um, so, it, but generally, I, I try and do stuff. There is I was a, assuming that meant activities rather yeah. than... There's a, there's a couple of plans that I have not been able to do because I cancelled them when I was close to burning out, uh, but I'm hopefully going to get to do those in the future. So not yet. Not yet. Uh, favourite new book from the past few years, asks Martin. Favourite new book? I've got, I've got to look through and see what I've read recently. Um, I don't read very often. And which all just I've means read... I check my phone on a different app, sorry. All, all I've read recently is astronaut biographies <laughs> generally, and Mike Massimino's came out six months before yeah. we filmed this, and I enjoyed it. Oh, uh, yes, I'm going to give you a book recommendation right away, which is The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. It is a wonderful bit of fiction. It's technically sci-fi, I guess, but it kind of feels weird when the sci-fi elements come in, because it's just like... Yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice book, and I thoroughly recommend it. If you say so. Uh, is this a question you will answer? That's from Emmett McDonald. Yes. Good job with the logical paradox there. Um, I got that, and I thought, oh, he's doing one of those paradox questions. No, that's... that's... Just, just answer it, yeah. Yes. yes Bill yes, Howard asks, what was your first computer? Oh, Amstrad PC 1512. Oh, Commodore 64. There we go. <laughs> which, uh, which once, as a, as a very young child, uh, I painted the mouse brown. Because obviously, mice should be brown. <laughs> that is the colour <laughs> yeah. of mice. Yeah. So therefore, the mouse should be brown. The mouse continued working, amazingly. Wow. Oh. Yeah. I've still got the Commodore 6, my family's Commodore 64. Oh, no. It's I, I, still covered in the crayon that my little brother drew on it in the early what, 90s. What we're learning here is that children are terrible. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, again, he uh, likes the animals. I like children. <laughs> I, I again, another which board games do you recommend? We're doing a whole video uh, about that. Um, turn the bench ninety degrees sideways. I'm really not sure this works. No, but, um, let's, but, uh, but you know, what? I'm going to take this opportunity to check the camera is still rolling because uh, this thing stops after. Yeah, so that camera is going to move, move back, move back. That camera is going to stop rolling in uh, about four and a half minutes, because we're going to reach the 30 minute timer, that, because this is technically a photo camera, not a video camera, and, and video cameras are taxed things. more, so they stop it recording just before 30 minutes, because that's the legal cutter anyway. Point and the heat dissipation. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that, that too. Right. Um, what kinds of video games, if any, do you enjoy playing? I haven't played video games in years, I haven't had time. I am kind of a casual yep. gamer. Uh, uh, I've got a PS4. Yep. And I have. I, I like the Call of Duties. I don't like, you know, pretending to be at war or anything like that. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's reasonably good stress relief for yep. me. Yep. All right. And it's it's. 
Like yeah, ba back when I did play video games, I used to like ones where I could go in, shoot something, and come back out. Ideally, something controlled by someone on the other side of the world within about five, ten minutes. That was my, that was my attention span. Nidhogg. Oh, it's brilliant. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if this goes out on Saturday, yeah. this goes out on Saturday, there is a festival at Somerset House in London called Now, now Play, Play This. this. Uh, and yes, I will, yes, the type of video games I like are the weird kind of indie things that show up at festivals like that, uh, like Nidhogg was originally, which is like, uh, and the weird kind of interesting controllers and yeah, go to Nail Play This, it's on uh, at Somerset House all weekend, uh, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. There was one I played at a similar event called Giraffe Volleyball Championships or something right, like that. Right, okay. And it's volleyball. Yeah. Um, and there are two giraffes per team yep. and everyone controls a giraffe. Yep. The giraffes have got a body, four legs and a neck. And you a bendy, can, bendy neck. The bendy, bendy neck and you can choose wherever their body <laughs> is. Their legs just extend and contract. Right. It's, it's great. It's uh, great. And... Uh, yeah, I, sorry, I was going to say something, but I realize we're short on time. So I've got 17 items left here and probably about two minutes until that ends. I'm not faking this, by the way. Uh, and sometimes we do the joke where I cut this off in the middle of a word for comic effect. Wherever this cuts off, <laughs> it cuts off. And you'll know the audio, because the audio will still be rolling yeah. when it cuts off. Um, what's something you uh, want to do but can't, legally or physically? Um, I, I'd love to be able to play a musical instrument. I never learned. I don't have that... that no, I, I, was, I didn't put the levels in when I was a kid. <laughs> and I could start from scratch now, but it's probably a bit much. I want to learn all the, all the languages, but I don't have enough time and working yes. shifts means I can't do evening classes. Yes, that's, that's fair. What is, what is the worst piece of advice you have ever gotten? That, my brain isn't indexed that way. No. I tried um, to forget. I tried to like forget that. terrible advice, yeah. Um, custard cream or bourbon? Uh, custard cream, obviously. Custard cream, pips of bourbon, but I eat both by eating the as much of the outside first, and then I leave as much as the inner till last. I eat this, a Boost chocolate bar the same way. Eat the outside first, then the yeah. inside. Yeah, your problem there is you're eating a Boost chocolate bar, and they're basically the work of Satan. Oh, I, I rarely eat them. I, I, <laughs> they are not my chocolate bar of choice. Uh, why, uh, what cars do we drive? Uh, I... Um, I've Do you want got to say, six like... Lamborghinis. <laughs> They're all Aventadors hey, that... and I've got an entire that, rainbow. That sponsorship <laughs> thing for a few weeks ago worked out, didn't it? <laughs> that, was, that was good. Yeah. Um... <laughs> the funny thing is I don't fit in a bloody Aventador. <laughs> uh, fried eggs, flipped or not? Sunny side up or over easy? Not. I don't like fried eggs. Uh, sunny side <laughs> up. Um, will you do another park bench live? Live. Probably at some point. Yeah, we'll run uh, out of content and pick that as the thing to do. And that's it. I'm going to cut the timer off right here with a question from Jeff Marshall who says, have you gambled in Vegas? Yes, I have. I played in a poker tournament on Christmas Ooh. morning many years ago and I lost, but I made it to the second table and that was worth the entry fee. I need to go and play poker. Yeah. I, I played the machines. I wasn't there for very long and I was yeah. with... Yeah, my parents who didn't want to have anything to do with that, and my brother who was too young to stand anywhere in the floor. Yeah, I've been to Vegas twice. Once when I was fourteen with my dad, and yeah. then you haven't been to Vegas, and again when I was like early twenties. Yeah, it was and just yeah, that was that was good, but uh, yeah, I should go back sometime. So there you go. I don't know if the camera made it to this. I, uh, I just heard the word this escalated from over there. So that was, that was very <laughs> For the very first time, just as, just as we finished recording that, uh, someone came up and said hello. We didn't even tweet where this was. Would you like to come and say hello to everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> Should I move the camera or are you all just kind of bending down here? Hang on. I can. I can. I can. Do this. Can do this. Ooh. Will you, will you wait? Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> you got to look the shot of Matt's crotch for a few seconds there. Did you, um, did you wait out there for us to finish that, that long episode? I noticed you were busy. I was literally, literally for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you, are the very you, you are the very first people to, to ever find us on the bench. We didn't wow. even say where this was. So what are your names? I'm Dan. I'm Stefan. Dan, Stefan, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> thank you. There we go. That's it. You're, you're in the outro yeah. now. We were <laughs> quite recently watching your...